Can an MRI show a disc herniation? Yes, an MRI can show a disc herniation. It's probably important to note at this point that x-rays actually do not show a disc herniation. A lot of times people will think that it will, but it does not. X-rays show bony tissue alignment and cortical fractures, which is sides of the bone. They don't even show the insides of the bone. X-rays are useful for preliminary evaluation, but they're really not useful for full evaluation of a disc. Now, is an MRI actually needed to uh, recover from a disc herniation? The answer is no. A lot of times what we do not need an MRI to actually start care with somebody. And you might wonder, why is that? Well, because with a thorough examination, which typically takes about 10 to 15 minutes or so, and in, in combination with get, uh, taking a good history from somebody, we can figure out what it, a good plan of attack is. Typically, an MRI is reserved for people who are exhibiting the big three uh, red flags, such as saddle anesthesia, uh, or numbness in the shape of a saddle under their groin area, drop foot, or weakness of the foot, and the third thing is bowel and bladder changes. Those are things that we typically reserve the MRI for, uh, and we do them, those ones more urgently to evaluate what else do we need to find in the spine which could be creating this lower back pain. Now, if someone does not respond to six weeks of care, that is a time where we might use an MRI as well. Typically, if you call an insurance company as a healthcare provider and you say, hey, can I get an MRI for this person? The first thing you ask is those first three questions, and if the answer is no, then they'll say, okay, has the person failed? Doctor supervised conservative care for six weeks? And the answer is yes or no. A lot of times patients will not totally realize this, but they'll say, well, I did do treatment for it for six weeks, but I did it myself. That's, it. That's, that's still not doctor supervised, meaning that your insurance will probably not cover an MRI because it was not doctor supervised. We're not saying that you don't do a good job with it, but a lot of times what we find is the reason why a clinics like ours are in business is because people are not, um, your schooling was not in how to manage a disc herniation, how to get you feeling better. Just like I did, wasn't, didn't go to school to do taxes, I should not expect to have my taxes done perfectly every single time if I did it myself. So if you're looking to recover from a disc herniation, reach out to us. They're not challenging. They're simple to get out of pain. Usually within a couple weeks, you can find a great reduction of pain. Keeping you out of pain is where the hard work comes in. You got to do a lot of work at home, but you need a guide. You need some type of plan to actually take you there. And that's where we step in. So I'm Sebastian at Orange Place in Huntington Beach. We'd love to help you out. If you're in Orange, if you're in Orange County, just come in, book an appointment. We'll do our very best. We're very honest. Um, and we're not going to jerk your chain and have you come in too often, too long, because I know that's a scary thing for a lot of people is they don't want to be roped into having long-term care. We don't believe in long-term care either. We believe in empowering you to do your own care at home. See you soon.